Hi friends, I'm back with a new layout today and this one I created for one of the International Scrapbooking Day um, challenges over on Paige Evans' Happy Scrappy Place on Facebook and um, it was the radial challenge and I chose this a lovely pattern paper from her Blooming Wild collection. I've got the digital version of the kit I'm still hoping to get uh, my hands on the actual printed papers but for now I'm making do with the digital kit which I've just printed out at home on, on thin cardstock. So I've taken the one pattern paper and I've cut out these gorgeous strips and they've got like printed stitch marks on them so I'm just using my pokey tool. This isn't the one that I usually use, it's a bit awkward to poke holes in so I look a bit um, awkward there <laughs> poking those holes through. Um, I usually have a Sizzix one which I love but I couldn't find it while I was making this page. Anyway, I'm poking the holes um, just at the end of each of those kind of stitch markers um, just to um, get ready to stitch all those little, little marks. So now I've grabbed um, a whole bunch of my embroidery threads and just tried to match the colours as closely as possible to those pattern paper strips and I'm just going to be doing a very very basic embroidery stitch going backwards and forwards, um, stitching um, through all of those little holes. I've used half of the thread so for DMC threads and anchor embroidery threads there's usually six strands of thread um, so I've divided that in half and just used three of the strands. So I do this really basic stitch which I'm showing you here and I'm also going to be doing a French knot um, on a couple of the strips um, but otherwise it's mostly just the stitch in various different variations and there you can see a little close up. So I'm not going to show you the full length of the strip <laughs> that I do um, so you can see there it's magically um, completed as much as I need <laughs> and now I'm just going to do um, a French knot. So I've come in from the back and then I'm going to wrap that thread around my needle three times and then I'm going to go back into the same hole and come out through the back and that's going to make a lovely little knot. Now when I saw that pretty spiral design um, I could have stitched the entire spiral but I knew I was going to have to make loads and loads of holes and to be honest I just didn't have the patience for that so I opted to do a French knot in the middle of the spiral and um, yeah compromised with that and I actually quite like the extra bit of interest that that little knot um, adds to the strip of pattern paper. I'd love to know if you've ever added some stitching to your layout, whether it be some hand stitching or machine stitching. I've done a bit of both in the past. I really love the texture that it adds to a page. Um, so um, if it's hand embroidery, it's something that I usually enjoy doing in front of the TV. I like to always have my fingers busy with something, so that's a good one to do while watching TV. Uh, but I also really enjoy um, adding some machine stitching too. So here are my complete pleated strips um, and you'll see I've not embroidered the full strip because I'm not going to be using the full strip so I wasn't going to waste extra time unnecessarily um, and apart from the French knot I've done the same stitch on all of them it's just different variations of that same stitch and I feel it's so effective and adds lovely texture and interest. Now I've got this and um, kind of partial circle that I made for another layout which I never ended up completing so I'm just using it um, almost um, as the center of um, sunshine and those pattern strips are going to be um, the radial of my page they're going to be the sun rays so I'm just trimming off the excess that I don't need um, so the backing pattern paper that I used is like a denim print and that's from Paige Evans Splendid collection as well as the center of the sun that's also from um, those two pattern papers that I've used there um, are also from her Splendid collection. I absolutely love that pattern paper in the background, the gorgeous denim print. Um, I just think it is so effective and I love how it offsets the bright colors of these sun rays. Now I'm just kind of sticking them in place. I'm not sticking them the full way. I want to make sure that I've got the placement correct. So I'm just trimming down the sun rays adding a little bit of glue that's going to be tucked behind the center of the sun and just working on that placement before I commit to glue the whole way through. 
And I'm glad I was cautious because it was at this point that I realized I'd gotten the sequence of colors incorrect. <laughs> so I was able to just quickly pull them up and restick them down in place. Now, as you can see, I'm doing another A4 layout and I'm happy to say that I'm really, really enjoying the A4 format. Um, if you are in the US and you don't um, use the A4 sizing, I think your um, pages are slightly different sizes. It's approximately eight and a half inches by 11 inches, I think. Um, and that's our standard paper size here in the UK. And um, I thought I'd give it a try um, as it's a little bit easier to get um, albums, well, folders this size, and then you can turn them into albums. So I thought, oh, I'll give it a try. And, um, and that was a little bit easier to handle, I think. So, um, so far, so good. I'm really enjoying this size. It's not to say that I'll never do 12 by 12 again. Um, I do like to change things up from time to time, but for now I'm enjoying this size. So now I'm happy with the layout and I'm happy with the direction of all those sun rays. So I'm just going to commit and stick them all down. So I'm using a little bit of my tape runner as well as some wet glue. So um, I feel sometimes the wet glue can be a bit slippery. So the, the tape runner just kind of helps it stick in place while that glue is drying. Now I'm just trimming off the excess and I have saved those extra bits. Who knows what I'll use them for, but I've got them just in case. I just couldn't bear <laughs> to get rid of all that embroidery. Now I've got these two photos, two of my special friends um, that I spent some of my birthday with. Um, it was my birthday recently and I met up with my one friend at the start of the day and we went for a walk and had a donut for breakfast. Um, <laughs> has to be the best way to, to start a birthday. And um, I ended the afternoon off with one of my other special friends and we had, I had a nice coffee and she had a hot chocolate and the sun was shining and it was just a beautiful day. So um, I really just wanted the page to reflect um, my how sweet my special friends are and the sunshine and the happiness of the day. Um, so I am now just going through a whole bunch of ephemera that I have printed off from the Blooming Wild collection and um, from the digital collection and I've printed it off and cut out loads of bits and pieces. I've not got them in any kind of order <laughs> so it takes me a little while to go through the whole stash um, but I'm really just trying to find um, pretty flowers that match the different colors so I can kind of do a tone on tone effect and um, yeah I'm just going through everything and finding the right pieces for each position. At this point I'm not too sure what I want my title to be so I'm also just kind of testing out a few different um, pieces, um, text pieces that are in the collection and just seeing which ones work best. I absolutely love the little butterflies in this collection. Um, they really are very sweet and the one thing that I like about the digital collection is I can print out as many of the different ephemera pieces as I want to and I can also adjust the size. So if I want something to be a little bit smaller or bigger um, I, can, I can do that easily. Now, um, I didn't go back and forth printing different things for this layout. I'd printed everything beforehand. I printed out loads of the collection. And I know that when I'm creating, I like to have lots of different sizes. So I made sure I printed um, different sizes of the butterflies and flowers so that I'd have lots of different options to hand when I needed it. Now I'm adding in these black and white flowers. These are from a pattern paper um, that I fussy cut. It's from Paige Evans' Splendid Collection and I love, 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 love that pattern paper. Um, I think the black and white just offsets the colors so beautifully. It kind of just breaks it up a little bit. Um, I don't have any white space in this page, but I feel like that black and white, those black and white flowers almost act like white space. It gives a place for my eyes to rest um, in amongst all the color. So I absolutely love using those black and white flowers and I'm probably going to need to buy a few more pages because I fussy cut the ones that I've got and I, I've used them so much. Um, I feel like they just work 
in nearly every single layout. <laughs> um, so definitely one of my favorites. So as you saw, I kind of put everything into position, but now I want to get it stuck down. So I've stuck down my photos. The photo on the left, I've raised up with a double layer of craft foam. And um, the photo on the right is just raised up with one layer of craft foam. So one is slightly higher than the other. And now I'm just tucking the flowers in behind. Now I've tucked them in just using some um, of my tape runner, but now I'm adding in some silicone glue. Now I love silicone glue. If you've watched any of my older videos, you might have seen one where I've used loads of this. And it stays wet for quite a long time. It needs a few hours to dry properly so you've got to be careful when you're using it and not squish it um, but once it's dried it holds its shape really really well so it's great for adding dimension um, to a page so with these flowers the the side of the flower that's underneath the photos is flush against the page but then the edges that are peeking out they're slightly raised and um, I really just love that quality um, when using silicone glue so as I mentioned in my last video, I've been a bit quiet on YouTube and over on Instagram and I've just picked up scrapbooking again after a few months, well nearly a year actually, of being really, really quiet. Um, I started a new role at my work, I'm a teacher and I've just been so busy and kind of consumed by it all. Um, but I am getting into the swing of things and um, finding more time to be creative. So I'm really enjoying getting back into scrapbooking and adding videos to my channel. So thank you so much for sticking with me for all this time. And if you're new to my channel, um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, you can also find me over on Instagram. I'm at Handmade Happy by Monique. And if you don't already subscribe and you like what you see, I'd be so grateful if you hit that subscribe and like button. And I would love to hear from you. So please feel free to drop me a comment um, down below. Now I'm taking these lovely butterflies in various sizes and just kind of finding the right spot for them um, along my page. I love using silicone glue for butterflies. Um, you can make the center of the butterfly totally flat, but then raise the wings up and they stay raised because the glue holds its shape so nicely. Um, so I'm just finding the right spot for those. I love adding butterflies to floral pages. I just think all these elements work so nicely together and it just adds so much extra joy to the page, which I think really reflects the, the memory so nicely as well. So now it's time to work on my title and I have decided to go for the title Sweet Friends because that is indeed what they are. Very sweet friends and um, they really helped to make my day extra special and it was lovely to spend time with them on my birthday. So I'm using um, colourful alphas from, I'm sure those alphas are from the Splendid collection as well. And um, so a combination of a little word piece and the alphas. Now I'm just going in with my stardust stickles and just adding a little bit of sparkle to the center of the flowers and adding in little sparkly details onto each of the butterfly's wings as well. I've got these iridescent sequins um, and they're just so pretty, they're really subtle. I don't want to add too much extra to the background so I've avoided any extra color but I'm using some lovely little gems and these little clear shimmery sequins just to add a little bit of extra subtle interest to the background and a little bit of sparkle. Gems and sequins are always one of my um, final touches that I love to add and it just gives, for me, the perfect finishing touch. And I'm usually happy once, once that's done. <laughs> so here is a close-up look. You can see those little gems and sequins sparkling and some of that, um, the stickles glitter on the wings and the flowers and all that lovely embroidery. I'm so glad that I did it. It just adds such lovely texture and really just um, add something extra to this page. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad that you could join me. Please drop me a comment um, in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Have a lovely day. Bye.